up? Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new here, my name is Miranda and I'm so happy you clicked on today's video. I'm just going to take you through a typical what I eat in a day. I follow a high starch, low fat, no oil vegan diet. Sometimes I do have a few treats, but I mostly keep it whole food plant based. Like I said, I'm just going to take you through a what I eat in a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. Any recipes that I have will be in the description box below. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me here on my channel. Subscribe if you're not already for more content like this. I also put out extreme grocery budget challenges and lots of meal ideas if you are vegan or even looking into a whole food plant-based diet. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I had this morning for breakfast. I'm starting to think this is the only breakfast I want to have for the rest of my life. So cheers. Of course, peppermint tea. And then I cooked two cups of oats in the microwave. And then I'm just going to toss some frozen blueberries in there. If you saw that one bounced out to the side and my chihuahua grabbed it off the floor. So no worries. No blueberries were gone to waste. And then I roasted some broccoli in the air fryer. I only roasted this for about four minutes and then I ended up throwing it back in um, and then munching on it. But this was such a good breakfast. This next recipe is one of my favorites and I haven't made it in so long. So I took two bags of frozen broccoli and boiled it. And the reason I boiled it is because I want it to be really, really soft. I added that to some cheese sauce, which I will leave the recipe for that below. It's just Yukon potatoes, carrots, onions, a bunch of seasoning, some nutritional yeast. But I had a little bit in my freezer I wanted to use up and I mixed that together and then I put it in a baked potato. Now I'm only showing one potato here because I didn't know how hungry I was going to be for lunch, but I ended up having two of these and then finishing off all the broccoli and cheese sauce as well. But this is so delicious. I hope you try it. For a snack today, I had this amazing chocolate zucchini bread, which I actually just made in a video yesterday that was a collab with Taylor over at the Mommy Vegan. So I will put the recipe in the description box for this, but I will also tag the video because it's holiday baking above so you guys can check it out. But this is amazing. It is now dinner time and I've had these potatoes that have really needed used up for a minute. So I decided to scrub them up and get them used. So I have to ask because I think I just don't know. When you peel potatoes with a potato peeler, do you peel it away from you or do you peel it towards you? Now, I have done it both ways. As you can see, I start by doing it away from me. And this was so hard for me to do. And I was like, there's no way that this is correct. But I always was told that you're supposed to peel it away from you so you don't cut yourself. But I was like, this is so hard. So then you'll see I switch <laughs> to feeling it towards me and it was so much easier. So please let me know in the comments, what is the correct way to peel a potato or a carrot or a vegetable in general? Is it towards you or is it away from you? And here now I just start flying like peel them up, peel them up. So if you can pause the video right now, tell me how to <laughs> peel potatoes. And then also if you can take a guess at what I am making for dinner. Um, spoiler alert, I'm just going to tell you I made shepherd's pie and by far shepherd's pie, it's still mind blowing to me that I love it because if you guys didn't know a year ago, I didn't even think I liked potatoes, let alone mashed potatoes. I hated mashed potatoes as a kid, like my entire adult life until this year. Um, I didn't even like potatoes. And then I went plant-based and I got an air fryer and I love potatoes now. And then <laughs> to top it off, I thought I never liked mashed potatoes and I would always make them for my husband. And then I started really enjoying them. So shepherd's pie is kind of mind blowing to me that I actually like it. If you would have asked me a year ago, hey, did you know next year you're going to be obsessed with shepherd's pie? I would have looked at you and been like, no, you're crazy but I love it. So what I did is just pop some potatoes into my Instant Pot. Now I did set these, I believe for 10 minutes, but then I ended up changing it to just eight because I didn't want them to get too soft. So I have some lentils here that actually were pre-cooked about a month ago. Um, I pre-cooked them for another recipe and didn't use all of them because I had so many. And they were just cooked with some uh, onions and tomato paste in the instant pot and then I froze whatever I didn't need so this was maybe a half a package of lentils and then I took some peppers and onions and put them on top 
I am not picky as to what vegetables go in my lentil pie or I, shepherd's pie. I just want some kind of veggies. So this is kind of non-traditional. And then I wanted some kind of sauce, but really didn't have anything on hand. So I decided to put some ketchup and some soy sauce to kind of give it some moisture. And I really like those two flavors together. Most of the time I do those two flavors, ketchup and soy sauce with a spicy mustard. I know that's weird, but it's really good. Once my potatoes were done, I smashed them up a little bit with my hand mixer and then whipped them up and I add a little bit of the water from the cooking of the potatoes because that starchy water with mashed potatoes, you don't need milk, you don't need butter, you can just use a little bit of that starchy water and it's perfect. Now I didn't use all the potatoes in this exact recipe because I actually made two shepherd's pies. I um, made one for my husband and one for myself, which is a lot, but then I thought, you know what? If I have two shepherd's pies, then we can have enough to eat for leftovers for lunches this week. This spicy queso um, nutritional yeast is so good. It is linked down below. It is from Bubble Goods. I have it, an affiliate link if you want to check their website and browse all their vegan options, but they have a bunch of different nutritional cheeses and nutritional yeast. And the, this, this one is so good. I keep talking about it, but it is so good. Someone actually left me a comment the last time I made shepherd's pie and was like, Hey, put paprika with your mashed potatoes. This um, nutritional yeast has paprika in it. It's very spicy. It tastes nothing like nutritional yeast. It doesn't have that sour tangy flavor. It literally just tastes like a spicy, cheesy, like blend that you can put on everything. And it's so good on potatoes, mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes, any kind of potatoes. It's really good on tofu. So I highly recommend checking out Bubble Goods. Like I said, I do have an affiliate link. So if you use my code running on plants, you will save $15 off your order of 75 or more. Now, another person told me in a video, actually multiple people did last time I made shippers pie to put the fork marks in it. And you guys, Thank you so much for your tips between the paprika and the fork marks like i am golden and it like really enhances the flavor of the potatoes so coming from someone who a year ago thought the potatoes were just awful to loving potatoes and making shepherd's pie cheers because anything is possible i mean if cauliflower can be anything i guess i'm a girl that can learn to love potatoes so here is the finished meal i did decide to roast some veggies on the side that way i had a true 50 50 plate but this was so delicious and so filling and like i said i made two shepherd's pies so that way if i wanted to eat a whole one and my husband wanted to eat a whole one we could Thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I said, any recipes are in the description box below, along with a free holiday ebook for all of you. All you have to do is click the link to it. It's a downloadable PDF. You don't have to enter an email or anything. It's so simple, but it's just a gift for you guys just for being here and for supporting me here on social media, on YouTube and on Instagram. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Miranda Running on Plants because I do share a lot of meal ideas and inspiration over there as well throughout the week. So thank you so much for watching. Watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!